people were forced to leave 75 homes this, this afternoon taking what they could carry and their animals. News News Jessica Denova continues our team coverage. With more than 500 acres burning in Williams and 75 homes evacuated, the Red Cross teamed up with the Josephine County Fairgrounds and local restaurants to take in and feed evacuees. Ways for us to heat up food, also there are going to be a blankets, so there's going to be cots. Uh, we're basically going to set up a, whole, a full shelter. Red Cross volunteer Brian Anderson says the shelter didn't see more than six people fleeing the flames because most went to stay with family and friends. That plan didn't work out for Jim Stewart, who took his family to his brother's house on Powell Creek. Initially, they, they weren't evacuating anybody on that end of Powell Creek. So uh, we drove just drove over to his house and uh, we're setting up and getting the dogs out of the car and everything. And, and maybe 20 minutes later, the sheriff showed up and said get out of there too. Stewart and his family headed for the fairgrounds. <coughs> Their pets also welcome as long as they stayed outdoors. There to comfort the family were volunteer pastors with Parkway Christian Center. Pastor Ron Marsh says center volunteers serve as spiritual leaders helping to find resources for those affected by the fire. We'll help them find lodging and food. Uh, we assist in those areas uh, in their time of stress and need. We pray with them. We encourage them and we comfort them if they need comforting. Meanwhile, other displaced residents waited out the flames in a turnout on Williams Highway less than a mile south of Murphy, giving up and heading into town around 8 in search of overnight shelter. But just before 9, residents were allowed back into their neighborhoods as long as they could show ID and proof of residence. Anderson says that return home came with a warning. If the flames pick back up, homes could be evacuated again. The Red Cross says it's ready for whatever the night brings. We'll be here all night. Covering your news in Josephine County, Jessica Denova, News 10.